Are you ready to have ChatGPT think like you? If this is your first time on my channel, my name is Leon Laila Kaba. I run a virtual assistant agency named 2XU and I post videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home. So make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so you don't miss any of my videos. Now, in the last couple of months that I've been creating so much content on how to use ChatGPT, a question that I've gotten is, how do you actually get ChatGPT to write like you, to think like you? So I just wanted to go ahead then and create this whole video for you guys so you guys can actually start having your own AI bot right at your browser. Now, there are so many fears behind ChatGPT between AI and general with them replacing us with them thinking like us but to be honest they're only really gonna copy bits and pieces of you they're never really gonna have your story they're never really gonna have your background and with the process that I've created so far on how to get ChatGPT to think and write like you it's still basically just saving me time on what would take me an hour two hours to write something ChatGPT can do it in seconds I just have to edit it in a few minutes and then it's done. So that's the process I'm going to walk you through. So the first step that you want to do is using the woe method. So the woe method is something I've completely made up, but it's a good way to prime ChatGPT on what it is that you need. So the woe method is basically the W is who are you, what do you do, and who do you serve? O is outcome. What is the outcome that you need from ChatGPT? A is essentially just asking it, are you ready? So do you understand basically what I've said? And then H is how do you want to do this? So giving it like, hey, make it funny, add emojis, so on and so forth. It's just basically now on focus on more of now that it's given you the output, how do you want it to be delivered? So using the woe method to get us started. So if you've never seen ChatGPT before, this is basically what it looks like. These are what I call threads right here. These are a bit different, uh, you know, YouTube videos that I've done before. Um, and I've just used the same ChatGPT account. It's not upgraded because I want you guys to experience what it's like without having to pay for it. Uh, but basically, we want to go ahead and make sure that we've clicked new chat. Again, I'm copying and pasting the woe prompt I already have here. So I put here, I am Leanne. I own and run a virtual assistant agency in the Philippines. Basically what I've told you guys. And that's the... W and I put on the outcome I'm going to train you in becoming my second brain by writing like me and giving me feedback as me are you ready I will be giving you my bio to start so I'm giving it already like a hey get ready for this and hitting enter so usually it'll just say yep I'm ready let's do this so the next thing you want to do is I've already kind of given you a hint but give ChatGPT your bio one of the best practices always to get the best responses from ChatGPT is giving it as much context as you can give it so for example for me I already have a very much ready written bio of myself just because I am a speaker and I get invited into podcasts a lot so I do have something already but you might not have this and I'll teach you later on how to create yours but let me just put in my bio. So I've literally outlined my life story basically since I was 15 years old, since that's relevant to me working remotely, and then all the way uh, to like 18 to 20, 23, I basically mapped out like the important events of my life to pertaining, you know, to my story and how I wanted to learn. At the very end, we have, do you understand my story so far? So then it would usually try to just do this of giving you the summary of uh, the story you just put into of just kind of, again, reiterating like, yep, I understand what it is that you do, basically, where I'm coming in. So next thing that you want to make sure that you do is go ahead. And this is if you don't have a bio yet, you're just putting in the shortest like headline for yourself. If you don't have it written out, you can actually ask ChatGPT. To interview you so what this is it will ask you a couple of questions so it understands you more and more and what context you want to give it so I'm gonna copy and paste basically just this prompt that I have ready here of what two to five questions do you have for me so you can get to know me that wasn't covered in my story so if you only have a short bio like you something that you use on Instagram or LinkedIn or Facebook um, you can use that and then you can ask ChatGPT to ask just more questions of like what else does it need so then it can think and write like you so here it's given me a lot of really good questions and I'll take a very quick pause so I can answer all of them before I go to the next part and I just wrote um, hopefully fairly quickly um, the whole thing so I just ask at the very bottom does the information above help it's giving ChatGPT as much context that I can give it without me being overworked overwhelmed um, ChatGPT just does you know the asking of the questions already uh, so 
um, right off the bat, it usually will say, yes, understand it. Thank you so much for the context. So again, you now have a ChatGPT bot now that you understands who you are based on the background that you have. And you can keep going. You can keep asking it, can you ask me more questions? Can you ask me more questions? And it can go on and on and on. But the goal here is that to kind of start extracting your story, if you don't have a full bio, that's how you do it with ChatGPT. So one more thing that I'll do on here is we'll put this uh, Leanne's second brain. That way we can know how easy it can be to just go back to this same bot. And of course, I always recommend that you save the link um, to this. So a quick way for you to grab the link. So I'm going to refresh it while it's still loading its answer. Uh, but this becomes now the permanent link that you have uh, for ChatGPT. Um, if, if you do it like the way that I just did it, you can have ChatGPT regenerate the response that quick and easy. So then I would recommend you save this into your spreadsheet or a file that you have, saving all of the uh, ChatGPT links that you have. So you can always click on this very easily in the future. Next thing is to train it to write like you. Now, ChatGPT has a lot of context about you. It's asked you a bunch of questions. You've answered its questions. Now, how do we actually train it to write like me so it can start actually me seeing that it can think like me? So the way that you do it is you grab a couple of samples of your own work. Now, if you're not much of a writer, it'll be a little bit harder to do. But for me, luckily, I am, you know, I've been working as a writer for most of my life. Uh, so it's easy for me to put in like posts that I've done, but you can use social media posts you've done, blog posts you've done. You can ask and you can transcribe if you're more of a video person, you could transcribe one of the videos that you have into text and then use that. So then you have sample work that you can show ChatGPT of what to model off of for it to learn how you write. For example, for me, I will uh, put in on here of, uh, are you ready to learn how to write like me? I will provide examples of social media posts I've written in the past. So what I'll actually do is I'll actually cop, uh, cut right there and just make sure that ChatGPT understands what it is that I'm asking it to do. So it'll just say usually, yep, let's do it. Uh, so I've pasted three samples of the way that I've written. Um, so sample one, sample two, sample three. Again, these are on my Facebook, my LinkedIn, my Instagram, everywhere else that I usually write. Uh, and at the very end, I added, do you understand my writing style so far? Uh, do you think you can write like I do? So I'll add a little bit of space, click enter. And ChatGPT will then read through very fast and slowly try to understand how I write and will even start already attempting to write as me. So this is kind of the cool thing is right away, it'll just give you the sample of its work. Uh, of course, I can then do the next step of giving it feedback. Now, this is a really important thing when it comes to you training your own ChatGPT bot or what I call task GPT, because then as you're giving it feedback, it can get better and better for the next time. So for example, for this, uh, it has on like the first couple of ones, it's kind of okay. You know, um, this is kind of more of like how I already write. So I'll just give it a feedback. So this is just a uh, paste that I've had here. Uh, this is a X out of 10. So you can give it an 8 out of 10. You're doing very well. Uh, next time, keep in mind the formatting that would be great for social media. So it's just like because I don't like the way that this is written, but you can add more feedback to it again. Hey, can you add more story? Can you add more depth? Can you add more of this XYZ? depending on what it is that you need, but it's important that you give it feedback so it understands what your preferences are. So based on that, it'll just say, yep, I'll pay closer attention the next time you do it. So now the next step is then testing it out, testing it again, if it understands your writing, your brain, your story by asking it to rewrite your bio. So now that you've given it all the information, you've given it the example of how you write, you want to test it out. You want to test its actual capabilities of what it can do. So a fairly quick and easy prompt is based on what you know about me, rewrite my bio from above and include a LinkedIn headline I can use. So this is how I'm going to now put it into directly into my LinkedIn. Uh, so on the bio is Leanne, founder, uh, CEO to you, remote work advocate and virtual assistant expert, which I love. And right there, it's rewriting my bio right off the bat that it's now easy to snapshot and actually put into LinkedIn, Instagram. I can ask, write one for an Instagram bio. 
and it will write a shorter version for it that I can now copy and paste and use on my Instagram. That's how quick and easy it is using the emojis that I love to use, so on and so forth. So again, depending on how you have trained ChatGPT to write as you on your writing style, it can easily do just that. And finally, ChatGPT does from time to time forget how to write as you, how to think as you, because it, you probably ask it like, hey, can you write me this blog post? Can you write me this social media post as me? A quick and easy way to be able to teach it how to write like you is to ask it for a prompt. So I would place it here of what prompt can I use to remind you about my writing style so it can be easy for you to learn it. So this is just you asking it like, hey, what's a prompt that I can use? Um, what's something I can, you know, so right here, uh, a prompt that can serve as a reminder for your writing style could be write a social media post sharing a personal story or experience that highlights perseverance and the power of remote work. So. Uh, it says, by using this prompt, I can tailor my response to align with your preferred style and tone. So it's caught basically my preferred style and tone, which is writing posts that are personal stories that are that highlights perseverance and the power of remote work. Uh, so then anytime that I now like, hey, I need to retrain it on how to write as me, I can use this prompt. And as a bonus, I'll show you guys how I would write this YouTube description because ChatGPT already did it for me. So then it will do just that. And depending on how this output would be, it's actually going to be the description that I'll use for my video. So right there, most of these I will probably use. Um, as the founder and CEO of a virtual assistant agency, blah, 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 I will probably end up using this just because uh, then it's been written by ChatGPT. And then I can ask it to you know, write a social media post for LinkedIn. I like using LinkedIn as an example, uh, promoting this video in my writing style so again it's now thinking as me it is now doing this as me because i've taught it i've given it the enough context to be able to do it by itself so this is now a legit post that i can use for social media later on as i'm promoting this video now there's a lot of fears and a lot of uncomfortable things that people go through when it comes to using chat gpt and training it to think like you but honestly again it will just save you time and an important note that i haven't actually gone through in this video is whenever you get output from chat gpt customize it rewrite it and also make sure to double and triple check it what i mean by that is don't just post something out of chat gpt always make sure that it sounds like you that it is yours because chat gpt will never create original content it will never create plagiarism free content it will always get content from the internet or how you've trained it to so before you post this before i'll post any of the youtube descriptions or social media posts i've had chat gpt write is i'll actually just rewrite it for myself but at least it's faster than me doing it from scratch. Now, if you guys like this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button right there and comment below. Have you used ChatGPT to write like you? I would love to know. And if you still haven't yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button right there so don't miss any of my videos every Sunday and Thursday on how to work from home and how to have a business from home, which you guys can check out those two playlists right here and the latest video right here. I hope you guys have an amazing day. I remember that small steps matters and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.